Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and this is part two of Interfaces for our C-Sharp series. So let's go ahead and we'll just jump right in. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to get around multiple inheritance and also a little bit about abstraction. So let's start off with a quick example here. At the beginning, right up here, I've got a few classes defined. And let's say I want to go ahead and build this car class. And I want to use inheritance to do it. Uh, I could sit up here and go, okay, well, which one of these best suits my car? And you can look at it and go, well, it's all three. It's a vehicle, you know, it's a wheeled vehicle, and it's also a motorized vehicle. So the first thing you might be tempted to do is just make it all three. And we'll notice here actually in C Sharp, it doesn't actually allow you to take all three. Uh, the vehicle was not popping up, I vehicle, which is the interface above. But we also want motorized. So here in modern development, it won't even let you do it. But even if you manually type them in and you save it off and try to build, you're going to get this error. Let's go ahead and we'll hover over the error. And we'll see that it's saying that you can't have multiple base classes. So the way we've been doing things so far, if we wanted to get around this, we could sit here and go, okay, well, we're just going to make wheeled vehicle inherit from vehicle. And we'll just make motorized vehicle inherit from wheeled vehicle. And that way here, our car just has to inherit from motorized vehicle. And if we went ahead and built this, we notice there's no errors. Everything is great. It's going to have all of the functionality of all three of these methods, or sorry, all three of these classes, including all of the methods and properties and fields inside of them. Uh, but let's say we came along, we actually want to make another class. And let's make this class uh, a boat. Now we have to sit down and decide how are we going to in inherit uh, for our boat here. Well, it's a vehicle, but it's not a wheeled vehicle. Uh, but it is a motorized vehicle. Now, if we inherit uh, the motorized vehicle, we're going to get all the stuff that comes with the wheeled vehicle, and we don't really want all that extra baggage in here. So I guess the, the simple solution would be to just go ahead and take our wheel, wheel uh, motorized vehicle, move it up here, and we could switch what we actually the, the chain of hierarchy here. So we'll go ahead. We'll make this motorized. vehicle and then we can come down here and just go ahead and make this a wheeled vehicle now and everything should still work and we'll come over here and just make this a motorized vehicle and I guess technically this would have to you can have a rowboat let's make this uh, a speedboat so you know everything's working great but what if you wanted to make a bicycle now so we have a public class bicycle Now we have to sit here and look to see what we're going to inherit from here. Now we know it's a vehicle. Uh, it's not a motor ve motorized vehicle, but it is a wheeled vehicle. So the way we have this set up, uh, we can't really inherit from here now uh, because we'd have to have vehicle and wheeled vehicle and not motorized vehicle where with speedboat again, uh, it's not a wheeled vehicle. So this is one of the great places that we can actually use our interfaces for. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of all these classes here that we're using for base classes. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the inheritance that we have set up here. And let's go ahead and let's take a look at these interfaces. Now I've gone ahead and actually put a few dummy uh, methods set up inside of there. There we go. So for the I vehicle, I just have move forward, stop, uh, wheeled vehicle, you know, it returns the number of wheels. I uh, want just to make the wheels roll. Motorized vehicle, we'll just check to see if it has fuel and if it's turned on. Now the great thing about interfaces is that you can actually implement more than one interface where you can only inherit one class. And you can do a combination of inheriting one class and as many interfaces as you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to go and grab well all of these interfaces here. So I vehicle. And we'll go on to the next one. We want an I, I guess we'll do wheeled vehicle. And let's get rid of this here. I actually had this one implementing that one. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, so we're going to grab an I wheeled and an I motorized. 
And then of course we actually have to go ahead and implement all of the methods. And when we hit the enter key, uh, we see we have all of them right here implemented for the I vehicle. And we can go ahead, grab the I wheeled vehicle and also the I motorized vehicle. Now I know there are ways to get it to put all of them in at once. And let's just take a look, see if I can do that. Uh, there used to be a way to do it. We don't want to implement all of them. I'm pretty new to mono develop. I don't use it a whole lot. Uh, but there we go. It implemented all of them for me. And I can just go ahead and actually fill out all of the code that I need here. Now this works great. And of course when I come down to speed vote, I just inherit the ones I want, which would be I vehicle and I motorized. And we'll go ahead, we'll implement what we need there, which will be both. And the same thing can go for a bicycle. We'll go ahead and grab the ones we want. Interfaces, as you've seen a little while ago, can actually implement other interfaces if you so wish. And of course, they can implement as many as they want. And if we went ahead and built this, everything's okay. And let's go ahead and actually implement here the I vehicle. I don't really want to implement it there. Let's actually just go down here and make a new one. Call it iCar. And this one here, we're actually going to go ahead and implement all three. I'm we're missing wheeled. All right. Now there might be some functions that you actually want to put in here as well, such as, uh, um, does it use a key maybe? Uh, we'll just, I guess we'll do turn key. And you don't have to have to do anything as far as these method signatures up here. We don't have to implement them or anything like that. What's going to happen is we'll come down to car. And now if we just grab the interface for our car, I'm going to go ahead and actually get all of these erased. And it's really nice how it throws them into their own little regions as well. Uh, but now if we come over here and we go ahead and implement them. Go ahead and hit enter. And there we go. It implements them all as well. And it still gives you the nice little regions to close them all down if you wish. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is abstraction. And I want to go ahead and forget about all the methods that we're going to be picking up here uh, from all these interfaces. And I only want to look at the vehicle one. So let's actually just go ahead and just shrink everything down. Now, we have this one method here called move forward. And car is going to have it, the speedboat's going to have it, as well as the bicycle. Uh, but when you're coding these methods up, if we were using inheritance, uh, we'd have to go ahead and we'd have our base class vehicle and it would have this method in it. And that method may not act, well, the, the code inside of that method may not necessarily apply to the way all three of these objects are going to be moving forward. So for instance, let's look at a car. When you go to move a car forward, you know, you're, you're probably going to be sitting in the car. You probably have the door closed. Uh, hopefully you have two hands on the wheel. The car you want to check to make sure it's not in park or in neutral. Then of course, you know, you, you step on the gas pedal and the car moves forward, right? Uh, in a speedboat, you know, it's different. Usually there's no doors. Uh, you're generally sitting, although you don't really have to be to start it. But you have that little knob at the side of the boat there. You push it forward. You know, the further you push it forward, the faster you go. And with the bicycle, uh, it's completely different. You know, you, you don't have to be sitting. There's, again, generally no doors. Uh, but the way the bicycle is going to move forward is you put your feet on the pedal and you, well, pedal in the forward direction. 
So the implementation of move forward is going to be different for all three of these classes. And interfacing allows us to actually set this up in a way that we know all three of these are going to have a move forward and we don't care how they move forward. We just know that when we call move forward, it's going to move them forward. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like the video. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.